everyone. Welcome to Pratt Virtual Storytime. I'm Miss Lisa coming to you from the Canton branch, and I am so excited to have you here today joining me for story time. I want to remind you that in March, we have our Read to Reef program with the National Aquarium. Children from ages birth through grade five can earn four free tickets to go to the aquarium just by reading books about water and conservation. So anything about you know bodies of water, animals that live in or near the water, anything about conservation and the earth, all counts. And when you read five books, you get four free tickets to go to the aquarium, which is pretty awesome. So make sure you stop by any Pratt Library branch and get yourself registered. The only requirement is that all participants must have their own Pratt Library card. But getting a Pratt Library card for your kids is easy and free. So make sure to stop by your branch and get signed up. I also just want to remind you that we are back to in-person programs at all of our branches. So make sure to look on the Pratt Library website, prattlibrary.org, and click on events to see all the great events that are going to be going on this month and on through. And then we'll get started with story time. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Hello, everybody. Can you wave hello? Wave hello. Wave hello. Hello, everybody. Can you wave hello? Wave hello. And we wave with one hand. We wave with our other hand. We wave with both our hands. So many hands waving. And so many fingers wiggling. How many fingers do we have? Can you count with me? One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers. Ten little fingers on my hands. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Ten little fingers on my hands. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. They clap and they clap and they clap all together. Ten little fingers on my hands. They wave and they wave and they wave all together. They wave and they wave and they wave all together. They wave and they wave and they wave all together. Ten little fingers on my hands. One little, two little, three little fingers. Four little, five little, six little fingers. Seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers on my hands. Great job. All right, let's get those hands ready for a story. Open, close them, open, close them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, close them, open, close them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Oh, and I've got a fun story for you today. Chirp. Chipmunk Sings for a Friend by Jamie Swenson. And this is being read today with kind permission from Simon and Schuster. So this is written by Jamie Swenson and illustrated by Scott Magoon. Chirp. Chipmunk Sings for a Friend. 
chipmunk lived on a rock. Most days, she sat on her rock, chirping from dawn until the stars shone down, the bright moon. She would just chirp all day long. Do you hear chipmunks chirping outside your home? Sometimes chipmunk's songs were happy. Sometimes her songs were bittersweet. And sometimes her songs were very sad indeed. She had lots of different types of songs. The rock was a very good listener, but Chipmunk longed for a friend who would sing along with her. Have you ever heard a rock singing? No, rocks don't sing. So Chipmunk needs a friend who will sing with her. One day Chipmunk said, stay right here, Rock. And off she went. It wasn't long before Chipmunk came to a pine cone. Hello, pine cone. Would you like to meet my friend Rock? Pine cone agreed. Chipmunk scooped pine cone up and off they went. Just as Chipmunk suspected, Pinecone and Rock got on famously. They got on really well. Chipmunk started to chirp, hoping that Pinecone would join her. Can you chirp along with Squirt, Chipmunk? <laughs> we can chirp, but Pinecone's talents, like Rock's, were of the listening sort. Pinecone was a really good listener, but have you ever heard a pine cone sing? No, probably not. It was bittersweet, for though she was happy that pine cone and rock were such good listeners, she still longed for a friend who would sing along with her. Stay right here, Chipmunk told Rock and Pinecone, and off she went. Who do you think she's going to find next? Take a look. It wasn't long before she came to a log. Do you think the log is going to be able to sing? Let's see. Hello, log. Would you like to meet my friends, Rock and Pinecone? Log agreed. So Chipmunk tried to move log. Do you think Chipmunk, this little Chipmunk, is going to be able to move this big log? She tried and tried, but the log wouldn't budge. Finally, Chipmunk sat and chirped the song about loneliness and defeat. She felt very lonely and sad because she couldn't move the log. And she really wanted the log to join her other friends. A raccoon heard Chipmunk's song. Is the raccoon up in there? Yeah, he heard her song. That is a sad song, said Raccoon. It is the song in my heart, said Chipmunk. It is beautiful, said Raccoon. Keep singing. Chipmunk smiled and sang a bit more. Raccoon swayed and tapped her paw. When Chipmunk was done with her song, Raccoon said, I will help you move the log. Do you think Raccoon and Chipmunk will be able to move the log together? Let's see. So Raccoon and Chipmunk tried to move log and tried and tried and tried, but log still wouldn't budge. Chipmunk and Raccoon sat. Chipmunk started singing a bittersweet song about friendship and defeat. Raccoon listened for a moment and then joined in harmony. She added a bit about frustration. A moose 
heard their song. What do you think the moose is going to do? That is a very sad song, said Moose. It is the song in our hearts, said Chipmunk. I added the part about frustration, said Raccoon. It is a beautiful song, said Moose. Please keep singing. When their song was done, Moose nodded thoughtfully. Maybe I can help move log, he said. What do you think? Do you think they'll be able to move log now that Moose has joined them? Moose is pretty big. So Chipmunk, Raccoon, and Moose tried to move log and tried and tried until whoop, out came the log. Log rolled down a hill across a meadow and stop right next to pine cone and stone. Just as Chipmunk had suspected, rock, pine cone, and log got on famously. They are perfect together, said Raccoon. Like a rock, a pine cone, and a log in a pod, said Moose. Every day, Chipmunk still chirps her songs, and Rock, Pinecone, and Log listen. Sometimes her songs are happy. Sometimes her songs are bittersweet. And sometimes her songs are still very sad indeed. But now Raccoon and Moose sing along too. The end. So everyone wound up with some friends. Log and Rock and Pinecone are all there to listen to their friends. And Moose and Raccoon and Chipmunk are there to sing together and sing to their friends. Everybody's different. Everybody brings different things to their friendships. Can you sing a song for Chipmunk? How do you think Chipmunk's song might sound? Turn to whoever's with you in your, while you're watching this and sing a song like Chip, you think Chipmunk would sing. I think it might sound like because I think Chipmunk's probably very happy right now. How are you feeling right now? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling sad? You may be feeling angry. Maybe you're feeling tired. Let's sing a song about all of the different things we can feel. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That was happy. And when we're happy, we make a happy face. Let's see if I can get that to stay on there. Happy. Maybe today you might be feeling a little bit angry, maybe a little brother or sister got into your toys or something happened that made you angry. If you're angry and you know what stomp your feet, if you're angry and you know what stomp your feet, if you're angry and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're angry and you know it, stop your feet. Make your best angry face. Maybe today you're feeling a little bit silly. 
I'm feeling a little bit silly today. I'm feeling like singing and dancing and playing games. If you're silly and you know it, wiggle around. If you're silly and you know it, wiggle around. If you're silly and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're silly and you know it, wiggle around. Can you make your very best silly face? Make silly faces. Good job, everyone. Or maybe you're feeling a little bit tired and quiet. You're feeling very quiet today. Like maybe you need to just read a book or play quietly. Sometimes we all need a little bit of quiet time. If you're feeling quiet and you know it, go shh. If you're quiet and you know it, go shh. If you're quiet and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're quiet and you know it, go shh. But if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, I'm certainly happy because all of you joined me for story time today. And I'm so happy you did. And I'm also so happy to see everyone coming back into the library for all our great programs, especially for Read to Reef. So make sure that you come by your local branch soon because those bookmarks go quickly and it's while supplies last. So come on over to your local branch and get signed up so that you can get four free tickets to go to the aquarium. Pretty awesome. And I'm always happy when I go to the aquarium because I get to see all the awesome animals. What's your favorite thing to see at the aquarium? But as happy as I am to have all of you join me for story time, I'm also a little bit sad because now it's time for us to say goodbye. So we have to say time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. It's time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink an eye. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Can you join me in singing that? Like Chipmunk and his friends? It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. It's time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink an eye. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye for now. Join us again next Thursday for another story time and make sure to come by the library. We'll see you soon.